me, Martin, and here it is, the first 4K desk camera from Xiaomi's ecosystem company 70 Mai. Is it any good? Let's find out. So let's get it out of the box first. On the box itself, there are a few key features listed, but we'll come to that in a moment. And there we have it, the 70 Mai 4K desk camera. Looks pretty neat, right? Also that display is huge. The other things that are in the box are a micro SD card, good to see they included this. And then we have this sticker and some other accessories that will help you to install the desk camera. But wait, there's one more thing in the box. A rear camera. And there's this super long cable to connect it to the desk cam. To get everything up and running is incredibly easy. It requires no special wiring, so it can be installed within minutes. You simply install the windscreen protector, because if you stick it directly onto the windshield, you will barely get it off later onwards. And then connect it to the vehicle's 12 volt spot. Download the 70 My app and connect it with your smartphone using the built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, now we know some of the important stuff, but let's quickly go over them. A 4K 140 degree field of view lens, front and rear cameras, parking surveillance, built-in GPS and ADAS. So this desk camera, which is a pre-production sample provided by 70 Mai, is built around the Sony IMX 415 sensor. This allows the desk camera to record in 4K Ultra HD with a 140 degree field of view. Now the interesting part of this camera is that you can connect it to the rear camera. Both record simultaneously. And it's also super easy to switch between them while driving. Switch to rear recording. There's just one thing that you need to keep in mind and that is that with this desk camera you can only record in 4K with the front desk camera. 70 Mai calls it the dual vision recording mode or you simultaneously record both cameras. Then the max resolution for the front and for the rear view will be 2560 by 1600 pixels and for the rear one 9020 by 1080p respectively. Now regarding the 4K footage, look at this. It is bright, crispy and clear. It's more easy to read license plates than ever before with the older models, linked here in the top right corner. Even with the rear camera plugged in, the difference between 4K and 2K footage is barely noticeable. The footage with daylight conditions are very good. And when the sun sets, the desk cam still performs really well. Mainly because of the f1.8 aperture lens and their dynamic noise reduction technology. It also automatically adjusts the exposure balance and therefore a low light result is really great. Here's a microphone test. I'm currently driving on the highway and welcome to this beautiful Dutch flat landscape. I'm currently speaking like I would do normally to my passengers and the sensitivity of the microphone sounds to me pretty okay. There are two features that are not working, that is for example this one that you just saw, the line detection. Uh, I can't remember the correct name, but it's basically whenever you're switching lanes unintentionally it will warn you. And so far, as you can see, the feature does not work, so hopefully 70 my will in a future software update. There's one more feature, it's called ADAS and as of now it doesn't work or it's not available in the app uh, nor in the interface of the desk camera. There's still some Chinese in the app so maybe the feature is still not translated yet. At the moment I know more and I've tested this feature. I will leave a comment and pin it so you can check it out whenever you're watching this video. In short, I am very positively surprised about the image quality for both low light and daylight conditions. 
coming from this little device. So we've discussed the quality of the video and I'm positively surprised but I'm also really curious what do you think of it? Let us know in the comments below. Besides the 4K footage, there is more. They increased the display its size to 3 inch and that is great. It's now more easy to see the interface because it's brighter as well. Also navigating around is super easy because of the 4 buttons but I would love to see a touchscreen display. Now what I like a lot, even though it's a bit redundant, is the application. You can basically do the same as on the interface, except for easily checking the footage and downloading it to your phone. What's missing in the alpha version of the application is all of the GPS features. The disk camera records exactly the location if an accident should occur, but there's no section within the same app to view the locations. Recording doesn't stop after you leave your car, so after parking, the disk cam will automatically activate the parking mode. It uses a 3-axis gravity sensor, and when it detects a hit and run collision, it will immediately begin recording. Start recording emergency video. This is limited of course to the battery life of the desk cam, so 70My recommends you to use the optional hardware kit and this allows a connection to the car's power source to ensure power during long recording sessions when the car is parked for longer periods. In terms of storage, which is kinda good to know, is that the device records in a loop, so it overwrites the last file in case the SD card is full and the good thing is that Okay, and it's good to know that the device can support up to 128 gigs of memory cards. I've set it to 2 minute clips, but you can set it yourself to different lengths as well. For now, there are just a few things that 70My need to work on before it hit the shelves. Basically GPS, because it doesn't always accurately measure your speed. The second thing is there's a delay in audio when you click the buttons really fast. and within the application there is still quite some Chinese. But keep in mind that this is a pre-production model with pre-released software and an alpha application, then it still feels to me that 70My is really far with releasing this model. Because in this stage it feels that the camera already offers definitely a lot more than its competitors for the same price. Imagine what you will receive when the retail unit hits the shelves. It's doing a really good job. Alright, that's it for this very first impressions and unboxing. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe maybe if you aren't already. If you have some comments, questions or remarks, drop them down below. I would love to have a discussion with you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see all of you in the next one.